her, let me do the talking. You just watch Wilson. He just moves and reacts his body talk. What about the woman? Well, she may be at her sister's. She visits weekends. She takes the children. If she's there, I'll handle it. Okay? Sure. Sure, I'm here to learn. All right, Harry. Let's go do it. Open up. Answer the damn door, will ya? Come on, let's go. Dee Dee! Answer the damn door! Hey, hey, you better answer that damn door! Who in the hell's got their fist through my door at this time of the morning? This is Agent Hill. I'm Agent Avery, FBI. We have a warrant to enter and search these premises. Fine by me. Just don't go scare my kids. Hey, what the hell is this about? They're feds. Who says? He does. And you know what? I believe him. That don't give them the right to come barging in my house at 6 a.m. with pistols out, busting down my damn door, waking up the whole damn... Morning there, Ms. Wallachin! <gasps> FBI agents, badges, warrants, and all that good stuff. Mrs. Walsh, and you boys talk to her? We will. We also may need to talk to you. You're, uh, Mrs. Deanne Wilson? I was Deanne Wilson, but I ain't no more. Mama? <laughs> Somebody comes to talk to Daddy. Will you get up now. We're going to see Annie Dana. What's you talking to Daddy about? Just things like carburetors and differentials and gearboxes. You know the stuff Daddy likes to talk about. What's this all about? Oh, I think you know what this is all about. Leonard Johnson. Spider Johnson, actually. Very cute, huh? Now, we know you know him, Wilson, so uh, let's not get off on the wrong foot, okay? Mm. Okay, so I know Leonard Johnson. Since when is that a federal offense? Since you took to robbing banks. If you do all your business, Mom's gonna sort you out something nice to wear. Can I wear the flower dress that Dana bought me? Well, I don't see why not. What are you looking at? And Johnson never contacted you after the 16th of April last year? Huh. Never phoned, he never dropped by, never dropped anything off. Never asked you to look after anything? I told you, it's been a year. No, no, it hasn't. It hasn't, man. And we know that. So there's no use saying something now that you're going to have to take back later on. I mean, we know you've seen him since last October. Else we wouldn't be here. We'll get out of this dump and go live somewhere real nice. And they got them nice shops. And those little movie houses that only about ten folk can get at one time, like your own private little picture palace. Can't there be a beach and swimming? You go relieve yourself, boy, else you will be swimming right where you're stood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you two. You stay here till Daddy's finished talking about transmissions and all. I gotta get some coffee, but mm, I'll be back. Ask her. You never stayed here. Just come by. Excuse me. Do you want some coffee? Does he want some coffee? Yes, coffee will be fine. Thank you. Your husband was telling us he had a visitor just before Christmas last year named Leonard Johnson. Do you remember? That old boy had Roman hands, I remember that. He couldn't talk to you, but had to have a hand on you someplace. Do you remember just when this was? Mm-hmm. Any time he was out of the room. I want you to give a statement to Agent Hill and make it complete. Because the mission is just the same as lying when you get right down to it. It ain't locked. Hi. Who are you? Who are you then, huh? I'm Shelly. I'm me. Randy's almost six. Oh, really? Well, I'm Jeff and I'm almost 32. Okay, go brush your teeth. 
Up and down, not side to side. <laughs> Thought you might want to talk someplace a little more private. Well, do you often have feelings like that? I'd appreciate anything you have to tell us. What makes you think I'm the kind of girl who talks to cops? Oh, well, uh, I'm not just cops, Ms. Wilson. Don't call me Ms. Wilson or I'll never talk to you. Okay. So if I do want to talk to you in private, just how does that work? Call me at this number and uh, set a date. Jeff Avery. That ain't an around here name. Well, I'm not from around here. Well, lucky you. I'm going to have to search this room. Sorry about that. This uh, top drawer is where the incriminating stuff is. I was lying in my bed thinking I gotta get out of this time. Next thing, this man was searching my underwear for bank <laughs> robbers. Who? <Ho. laughs> you gotta stop treating your hair like it was old rope, girl, else it's gonna start falling out. Well, it'll last long enough to hang myself with. Dee <laughs> Dee. Mm -hmm. So, well, what, what was the upshot of all this? Well, they went off none the wiser. There's another one of them never said a word, hardly. Jeff was the boss. Jeff. Uh huh. Was the boss. Jeff Avery. Pretty good name, huh? Little do. <laughs> My early Dana. You right on time, Miss McKinney. Have a seat. I'll be right with you. Dana, darling. Are you still trying to get her scalp to match your hair? <laughs> hey, what's happening? Give me that. Tiffany saw Bradley and Crystal's mama kissing. And all this time, Crystal. I thought that Bradley and Tiffany were messing around. Right, but Crystal's mama's the one he really likes. If they don't know Tiffany saw him, now she's gonna tell Crystal. No, stupid. She knows Crystal I ain't gonna believe her. You're too sure about that, Missy. Your best friend don't tell you. I don't know who will. I guess you tell this ivory had me interested. Hold on. You know, you ought to move out of there. It ain't a good idea you two living together, things being the way they are. But when I go, I'm taking Shelly and Randy with me. Till then, I don't mind fighting old Brett Wilson off twice a month. Yeah. I can whoop him with one hand putting on eyeshadow. shadow. <laughs> you could come and stay here if you and Earl didn't cat and dog it so bad. Well, that'd be the day, sister. Earl thinks about as much of me as Miss McKinney does. Yeah, don't ruin it. I just strangle Miss McKinney with her garter belt. I'm wondering what you and... Till her eyes popped out and her tongue went black. Shh. We're watching laugh after laugh, Ma. Mm. I can two children and one grown man watch the same program with the same amount of interest. Do it hell a side easier if someone's not talking all the time. Good girl. Give me a kiss. Oh, give her mama a kiss. Shh. So what would you like to hear, Mr. G-Man? God, if this good old boy way of doing things, you know, I've been here two and a half years. I just can't get used to this, this glad handing. How's Philly Bob's rheumatism? Oh. I think the captain's a pretty smart fella. Yeah, yeah, he's smart enough, but he's a politician. You can't forget that, Harry. These guys are in politics and they're lawmen. 
sometimes it doesn't divide us necessarily, but don't ever think that we're the same. Didn't they teach it at the academy? Hey, here's that Wilson woman. What do you think she wants? Mm -hmm. Let's go find out. Wait, wait a second, let me do this by myself. Sometimes these things are better one-on-one. -on -one. Sure. And she looks pretty good, fixed up, huh? Yeah, not bad for a hillbilly, huh? Hi there. I called your number, and I said you're at the courthouse. You just came by to see justice being done, did you? <laughs> no. I've seen justice being done before. Now I come down here to see you. Mm. Only I don't want to be seen sitting around talking to no FBI man, you know. You know my reputation ain't much to begin with, and that would just shoot it all to hell. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you uh, wait in the parking lot, and I'll be out there in a few minutes. What you want? Uh, probably nothing. The thing you gotta get used to is 90%, 95%. Doesn't go anywhere, but you can't get the five that counts without the rest of it. Yeah. Give me a favor, I'll, I'll meet you back later on at the office. After this lady's finished wasting my time. Okay. Jeff, don't want to talk to Deanne Jones? Deanne Jones? The blonde with a walk. I thought her name was Wilson. I believe that is the name of the fellow she married. I know her by her own name. She gave us some trouble a few years back. Run off. Folks didn't know where she was at. And a while she was. <laughs> but she come back with new hair and a new husband. New hair suits her just fine. So how long have you been around here? Mm, nearly two and a half years. Mm. And where'd you leave to come here? Cleveland, but I didn't choose Waynesboro. You know, I was posted here. <laughs> Well, at least you've got an excuse then. I bet you don't plan on spending another two years here. Listen, uh, maybe we should just talk about why you came to see me. Hmm? Do you have any idea how folks around these parts feel about informants? Well, you don't strike me as the type of person who cares very much what folks think. Are you married? Yeah, yeah, I'm married. How's that going for you? Is this all relevant? Huh? That should be. You tell me if I'm way off here, but I have this thing that happens to me when I'm getting feedback. It's like the hair on the back of my neck sort of stands up. I guess it's from when we were animals or something. Well, the thing is, I don't get it unless the other animal's getting it, too. And I'm getting it with you. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be... Admissible in court. Mm. Say, did you find anything in my drawers that interested you? <laughs> God, I hate this place. will be Satan's jewel crown. Woo! You should have gone on the road, Dana. Oh, Me at the Opry by now, the Joneses. Yeah, right. If it weren't for Earl, he's <laughs> creating me out. <laughs> He made me his own. <laughs> How often do you two, you know? Well, it depends. <laughs> what thing to ask? <laughs> well, I ain't gonna run an ad on it. I just... You ever get a tangling feeling on the back of your neck? Up the back of my neck? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. I get my tangling quite a ways further south, honey. <laughs>
I know. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Let's see. Wait, are you telling me that this can't wait until tomorrow morning at the office? I don't think I should be seen coming into your office. And the phone ain't the place either. Well, what do you have in mind? Please. Baseball cards? Yeah, baseball cards. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Why do all these damn songs sound the same? Because it's the only song there is. Yeah? You don't believe in happy endings? You know what? I don't think about endings when I'm beginning. Wait, 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 wait. Hope you ain't gonna tell me that's how it usually is for you. No, I'm not. Good, because I wouldn't believe you. It's usually better. <laughs> better than this? Mm -mm. Boy, you'd be dead and gone to heaven. <laughs> hey. I ain't started telling you what you want to know yet. What, I have to be dressed in order to hear it? Uh, I think you're gonna remember it a little better. Okay, this time, you be me, and I'm gonna be... <laughs> and he just checks right into the motel with you? Sure, he's FBI, it's like being invisible. Well, you better believe you ain't invisible, not around these parts or not. Yeah, well, he gets kind of worried about the noise. You know how those motel walls are. And I got to tell you, Dana, that man makes me sing out something wonderful. Sometimes we go up on them back roads where it don't matter how much noise we make. Fixing something, I'm hungry. We saw them outdoor movies you watch, Earl. Gives a man an appetite. <laughs> don't you have some place to go home to? There's some of that cake left. Some salads. All right. Come on, you two. Maybe Daddy's sober by now. You don't have to leave yet. I gotta be going, Dana. I'll call you and tell you how it is. Go to the car. Bye, honey. Bye, honey. Bye, honey. Bye. 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 Thank you. You don't have any call to be like that to her. You got a smart mouth on her sister. She was kidding. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, stop. then you come back again. Yeah. And what was that? April. Mm. Late April, right after Shelly's birthday. So yeah. 22nd, 23rd, thereabouts. How long did he stay? He didn't just come around with his bag, you know, like soldiers have. Oh, yeah. Kit. Mm-hmm. Told Wilson, what do you look after? It? <sighs> All right, stop. Hey, come on, go on, go on. Just get on with the story, okay? What did, what did... And he told him not to look in it. 
Well, what, what did he say? What was in it? This go get Brett in trouble. Oh, what the hell do you care? He is Shelly and Randy's father, you know. Great. Well, I haven't got nothing for him, but I don't want him getting in yeah, trouble. Yeah, don't because... screw around with me, okay? Did he look in the bag? Yeah, he looked. Yeah, and what did he say? And I looked too. What did you say? I saw three guns. Careful with that. Hmm? A uh, 38 Ruger. An SW automatic 44 caliber, I think. And a shotgun. Yeah? What gauge? A 20 gauge, what my daddy used to call a ladies' gun. Yeah. You're good. Mm. Is there anything else? Yeah. They're still there. You're kidding me. I would never kid you about anything. You know, I can't stay here not if you get Johnson. Oh, no, I'll get him okay. With what you've given me, I'll get him. And you got me, too. Oh. Are you happy? Happy with what you're getting? Oh, yeah, happy. It could be happier. Baby, when your transfer comes through, I want to go with you. I don't care about the money. Just when you go, don't leave me here. Things aren't right with you and her, are they? Sure not like you and me. Well, <laughs> good. Then take me with you. It'll work. You'll see. I can help you. All right, we'll work it out, okay? You promise? Absolutely promise. Now, would you get out of my car, please? <laughs> I love you. I love you. I heard that. I'm glad you did, Matt. <laughs> Just get out of the car. Get out. What do you think? Ain't he gorgeous? He said it, baby. He said, I love you. Came right out of that beautiful mouth he has. You can get this informant into court. If necessary, I'd rather avoid it if I could. Um, it's all right, a few hot shots here in the big city. If she got up on the stand buck naked, nobody would notice, but. Uh, if she got up in court in Waynesboro, then everybody and their dog would bark. Don't you think nine grand's a little steep for this hillbilly stuff? Well, sir, these are these are pretty tough people, and the uh, guy's got lots of friends, and I had to sweeten the pot. Okay. I recommend we move on it. Good work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh! That morning I was just thinking that I got to change my life, and then he walks through that door, and I knew right then, I swear, I knew right then he was my ticket out of here. You may not believe in destiny, sister, but I do. Well, it didn't destiny. He's a married man. This marriage is over, he told me. <laughs> Can you hear yourself, girl? You're talking the oldest moon dust, the woman that's running around with a married man can talk. So what is wrong with moon dust? Beats watching TV seven nights a week with Earl. I get to fighting, okay, Dee Dee? There's no point to that. Shoot, you keep your mouth off Earl. Else you and me won't be talking, okay? You stepped on the line. Sorry I said that about Earl. Honest. I know that you love him, but Jeff loves me and I love him. I mean, I'm crazy about this man, can't you hear me? I'm crazy about him. I hear you, Dee Dee. You'll see, sister. You'll see. You stepped on the line. Hey. Hey, 
Hey, man, looks like you're gonna bust this Spider Johnson case. Yeah, it won't do you any harm either, Agent Hill. Yeah, but it's your case. I'm just taking notes. You take all the notes you like. The real thing is that uh, you just gotta get lucky every so often. It's that woman from the trailer park, isn't it? Garbage Elmer? Ian Wilson. What makes you think that? Hey, look, I wasn't trying What the hell's to... the matter with you, huh? Nothing. I mean, I don't mean to pry. It's your informant. That's right, that's right. For the informant's safety, the fewer people who know, the better. Right? Sure, Jeff, yeah. I mean, look, if you need to trust me, you can't. Until then, I don't need to know anything. You're all right, Harry. You're okay. I'm going to miss you. Miss me? What, are you going somewhere? Indictments were handed down today against Leonard Spider Johnson for his part in the Waynesboro bank robbery last November. State Prosecutor Byron Estes made the following comment. Thanks to first-class cooperation between state and federal law enforcement agencies, we have a true bill against Johnson. I make no secret of my belief that a judgment will be secured against the accused. Anything I can get you, Earl? What do you think about all this? All what? We're catching that bank robber so slick and all. Mm, good if he did it. Oh, I think you know he done it. You think I know he done it? What's that supposed to mean? Didn't your sis tell you about it? Told a whole lot of other people about it. Hey, don't go busting up the refrigerator unless your sister's gonna buy us a new one. What are you talking about? Where'd you get the notion Dee Dee has any money? Don't you know about her and that FBI fella? I know about that. You don't know that they pay informants, or you think maybe she's just doing it for the motel shots? Don't ever talk to me about her like that. Ever. Dee Dee's my blood. Only difference between me and her is I found you. That makes me lucky. Me and my sister used to come up on roads like this when we were young. Drank beer and practice our singing. Talk about all the places we'd get to once we got out of this one. I guess Dana gave up on all that when she married her. But I never did. I ran away from home, but I was come back. Did you ever run away from home? Run away? No, I always knew that I was going someplace. And I didn't have to run away to get there. Ma, you are a very sure yourself guy, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get to be that way? Well, the world is mostly what you make of it. You just got to create it with your thoughts. You just thought me up, is that it? Yeah, and you're just one of those risks that had to be taken. Oh, I like that. Yeah. transfer came through. Where? California. Los Angeles. Yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. California. Yeah. So when do you go? Two weeks. When do I go? You know Shelly Randy could stay with Dana until mm. I get us fixed up. Well, no, 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 because I have to I gotta square it with Nancy first. Oh, she's going to Cleveland, didn't you say that? Yeah, well, but no, I mean that right away. I just have to... I just got to work this out very carefully. What does that mean? Well, Deanne, do you have any idea how the Bureau works? No. Well, I mean, what we're doing is strictly against the rules, you know. It's against the code. If they found out that I was dumping my wife to move in with a woman who was my informant, I'd end up pushing paper clips in some hick town till I was 40. If you ain't gonna leave me, honey, I won't let you. Quit that. You quit that now. You know I'm crazy about you. You know that, don't you? Just gotta give me some time to figure this out, that's all. How long? A month. Two months. I'm gonna be scared, Jeff. Yeah. Nothing to be afraid of, Kel.
Uh, sure puts you off people listening to him in the privacy of their own bedroom. <laughs> Harry, there's something I want you to do for me. Yeah, what's that? That's about the Wilson woman. I want you to take her over for me. I thought she was uh, strictly a one-case deal. Oh, yeah, but she likes the game, you know, not to mention the money. She wanted to keep in touch with me, but I don't want to call on me all the time, so I told her that she can come to you with anything that she has. I mean, not that it would amount to anything, but you never know. So, use your own judgment, okay? You sure uh, George isn't going to mind? I mean, no. he's, he's got seniority. Oh, hell, it's my informant. I can turn her over to whoever I want to. Besides, Deanne's pretty good company. If you like crackers. I'm not so sure that I do, but, uh, thanks, man. You never told me you got paid money to be an informer, Dee Dee. Yeah, they pay you, but I would have done it for nothing. You want to know how much I got? Jeff's transfer come through. Where? California. No. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Does Britt know? No, I'll tell him when the time comes. Wow. I know that you think that I'm all and crazy and talk a moon dust, Dana. No, I just don't want you running off like last time, not telling me where you're at. I won't. You swear? You swear on Mom and Daddy's grave? <laughs> I swear. Swear it. I swear. Stick a needle in my eye. In your my heart and hope to die. When I get buried, Mama, can I be an angel? Shush, baby, don't say that. You are an angel. Mm-hmm. That's the nice part of this whole place, this cemetery, huh? Pity when you finally get here, you can't enjoy the view. <laughs> hey, come here. Hey, come here. I'm gonna feed you the chickens. I'll feed you the chickens. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Chicken. Come here, Mr. Chicken. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure as a dead frog or whatever they use. <sighs> oh, Deanne. Don't Deanne me like that. I know that you're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. Well, what are you going to do? You could have an... <gasps> Dana, I'm having this baby. What if he didn't want it? He wants it. Of course he wants it. It'll be ours, our baby. It'll be our family. If it's a boy, I'm going to name him Jeff. And if it's a girl, what do you think about? Jessica, don't worry. He'll be here soon. We're all going to be together. And I ain't going to let him leave without me. You don't like Jessica? Well, maybe if it's a girl... I'll call her Dana. Dee Dee, stop it. Come on, I mean, you're this crazy. This man is no good. He's not going to want to hear this. I mean, he went away. You haven't heard from him in a month. He's busy. Too busy to call? Too busy to write? If this was happening to anybody else, I mean, you'd recognize what was going on. Just stop, stop it. Elsie, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. He loves me. It's not right. And I love him. Nothing and that is the right. way that it is. It ain't like you say. He's married and he's I don't kids. care. You don't care? I don't care. I can't care. This is mine. Don't you hear me? This baby is mine. It's gonna be fun. Y'all see. Lady here to see you. Deanne Jones. Oh, uh, yeah, come in. Hi. Uh, I meant to be in touch earlier, but it's gotten busy around here uh, since Agent Avery left. Can I get you some coffee? No, I don't want any coffee. I want to talk to Jeff. I ain't heard from him since he left. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sure he's very busy himself, you know, getting, uh, getting established and all that. 
He asked me to handle anything that came up. Well, I think this might be just a little bit outside your jurisdiction. Oh, I said you could bring me whatever you have. Hey, well, tell me he's going to be a father in November. <laughs> that there is a lab report. I know how Jeff likes his documentation. You think you can handle that? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he never told you about me and him, did he? <laughs> no. Oh, well, I am sorry. <laughs> Just spring it on you like that. Mm -hmm. I said, give Jeff my love when you talk to him, okay? She just walked right in and said this? Yeah, it was the first time I'd seen her since you left. Well, you're not the father, are you, honey? <laughs> no. Listen, Harry, I'm sorry. I know I should have told you this earlier, but it was just one of those deals where she wasn't going to spill the goods unless she slept with somebody, you know. Just strictly line of duty stuff. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about her being pregnant? Oh, man. I mean, this, this woman's been around, Harry. Still lives with her ex-husband. She's just trying it on his own. Just told her that we spoke and uh, that I'll be down there for the trial and I'll speak to her then, okay? Okay, sure thing, Jeff. Jeff. Oh, gotta go. Hungry, honey. See you next month, Harry. Okay. The longer I've been in the bureau, the better I understand how it works. I don't like uh, pushy people. If you, uh, if you show too much that you want to move on up. When I first came here, they said, uh, hey, you must be that hot shot from Waynesboro. You know, you just got to fall into step. You got to learn how to, how to play the game. Yeah, but uh, you can see how it's done, right? I mean, people do rise. I'll keep your nose clean, kiss some butt, and uh, fill everything out in triplicate. Hey, right, you want to get that for me? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi. Uh, yeah, just a second. It's Deanne. Uh, hey. Jeff, is it you? Is it really you? Yeah, it's me. It is so great to hear your voice and know you're just a few miles away. Yeah, well, uh, you're in Deaconsville. It's not exactly around the corner, is it? <laughs> About 40 miles. A lot better than 2,000. Oh, baby, I just got to see you. Well, Deanne, just give me a chance to... Get through this court hearing tomorrow, and then we'll see. Oh, tonight. It's been three months. Felt like three years. All right, well, I mean, if you're dead set on driving, I guess there's no way I can stop you, is there? My car's in the shop, and I don't want to ask Dana or Earl for a ride, so you got to come pick me up. No, no. Deanne, please. I just flew in from California, and I'm completely exhausted. I know, I know, I know. I just... i got to see you. No. Well, what about Harry? No, 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 I'm not going to ask Harry to drive you here. Yep, I got to see you. I'll hitchhike over there if I have to. All right, hold on, hold on. Uh, she's just going nuts. She wants to know if you'll drive her. Sure. Are you kidding me? Look at it outside. It's no problem. Oh, Jeff, don't talk him out of it. All right, Harry said, uh, he'll drive you. Really? Oh, tell him I love him. Tell him he's a doll. Oh, you ain't gonna regret this, Mr. G-Man. Your little old Deanne has got towns where she used to have and more bank for your buck. Okay, tell her I'll be ready to wait. And I love you, baby. And I miss you, and I'm gonna see you soon. Bye, honey. Dana! You know what's been the worst thing? <sighs> Having all these feelings and no one to give them to made me feel like I was just gonna split open. Don't go. What? It'd be a mistake to go running out in the night like a... What? Why? It's a sin what you're doing. It's wrong. Sin? Don't start preaching at me, Dana. I know what that's about. You ain't mama and I ain't your little And girl. the sin is against yourself. Because you're selling yourself cheap to a man who doesn't even care enough to come here and get you. Shut up! Damn it, you're jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. Jealous? Yeah, and you always been. How I never...
never gave up on trying to get out of here and you did. Oh, am I jealous of you and Brett? Am I jealous that you're white trashing yourself for some man who already has a wife, Dee Dee? You just never had what him and me have. You just, you never had it. Well, at least I sleep with someone I can walk down the street with. This man is never going to take you any place. You don't want him to, do you? Because then I'd be gone and you would be stuck here. Hey, stop. I mean, stop. She is going, understand? Hey, hey, she is a grown woman. She's out of her limb, is what she is. And God help him if he's trying to cut it off behind her. God, I hate fighting with you. How do I let... No, it's just fine. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, sister. Sorry, cheer up. I love this man. Oh, my God, he's child to me. And that don't make me weak. That makes me strong. So don't you go worrying about your poor little pregnant sister. I'm going to be just fine. Don't let her worry, Earl. I want you to wear it. <laughs> Do I look okay? Just wear it. No, be happy for me. <laughs> mind those pounds I put on too much, did you? Or was it like a whole other girl? <laughs> Whose baby is this, Dan? It's, it's yours. Hmm. Yours and mine. You're saying there hasn't been anybody else the whole time I've been away? Of course there hasn't been anybody else. <laughs> I'm more than three months pregnant yet. And there's nobody else, you know, along with me? Along with you. Well, what are you, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is, I don't know. 
This baby is mine, Dean. And when I left, there was no baby. And then we don't see each other for three months. It's suddenly, I'm the father of your your unborn child. You know, yeah. honey. This is your baby. You can bet your life on it. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Well, then. You can bet your career on it. <laughs> well, are you threatening me? Is that what you're doing? You know what? You know what? If that's what it takes, yeah, you bet. That's not a very smart thing, sweetheart, to threaten a federal agent. You little son of a bitch! And I thought that Brent was trash. Well, you know what, honey? You're a real pile. You're a man-high pile. And if you think that you could pull that little federal agent crap with me, you are so mistook, it is pitiful to behold. Shh! All I'm saying I know is what you're saying. You don't... You're saying that it's over. No, I'm not saying that it's over. Well, then what are you saying? Have you found a place for me out there in California? Have you? I haven't yet. yet. No, because you and Cher are probably playing house. You've been looking for some other dumb little bitch to give you what you can't. Now you're out here to tell me. Shut, to get off shut the your mouth. You listen to me. My life is incredibly complicated Well, right honey, now. you know what? It ain't a moon cast shadow on how complicated it's gonna get. Listen. You ain't gonna just screw me around and dump me like I was a little white trash tramp. Shh, shh, okay. Listen, listen to me, Dan. Listen, I have a lot of problems. I, I told Nancy about there being somebody else, and I, she, she, she nearly came unglued. I thought she was gonna kill herself. Now I had her calm down, and that's when I heard about you being pregnant. That's all. How could you say that? How I know. could you say shh. that about not I'm being sorry. our baby? I'm sorry. Unforgivable. Now, I think the thing to do is for you to have an abortion. No. I am not having an abortion. No. Stop it! Just stop shouting. Stop! Don't, don't shout. I will right? shout as much as I want, you little right, bastard. Fine, fine, fine. You want to shout? Scares me. You know, I'm trying to make my way through the bureau. Just saying that you only get a few chances is all. And all you need is one mistake. Mistake? Is that what I am? A mistake? In three months, I go from being a risk that you have to take to being a mistake. Only if it would come out, if you should make a big stink, and the bureau will find out. Well, they already know. Harry knows. Harry won't say anything. So don't tell anybody else. Nancy will tell them if I try to divorce her. No, there's no divorce. What do I do when the baby comes? Where does that leave me and the baby? Your baby. Have the baby. Have the baby. And I'll take care of... I'll, uh, do everything I can for you. And when the baby's born, after the baby's born, we'll adopt it. So why will we have to adopt it? Nancy and me will adopt it. I mean, we can give it a better life. What? What is that? I 
Why don't you stop it when I ask you to stop it? Why don't you stop it? Why don't you stop it? Open up a trap. And what do you think I find? Come on now. A wig. Someone flushes a dang wig down the job. Do you have to talk about toilets when you're eating? No need to bite my head off. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. You call the motel. She's not in her room. Try his room? He's checked out. Mr. Avery? Well, that was a good day's work. Well done, gentlemen. We have this man to rise. And you made a real good impression up there, Mr. Avery. Well, you made it very easy for the jury, sir, and for me, too, and I, I know you'll get that verdict. I don't like to take him unless I believe so. Now, you're headed out to California? Yeah, um, tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. Well, you take real good care. Okay. Good seeing you again, Jeff. Suiting you being out there with all them movie stars? Well, they're not all movie stars, the ones I'm dealing with. <laughs> yeah. Well, think of us in the wintertime. So, uh, how's, how's Harry doing? He's coming along. He's not as hungry as you, but he's a trier. I hope you've got full coverage for this. Yeah, that's a, a damn coal truck strewing stuff all over. I gather the Jones woman has dried up. So how are you saying? Pity. She was good value while she lasted. Well, take care of yourself, Jeff. Like the captain says, give us a fuck come Christmas. Will do. This is Kenny. Hi. Oh, Dana. You checking in? Uh-uh. -oh. I can't afford these rates, no. I'm looking for Deanne. Oh, she's an A. I mean, well, that's where they were booked in, but I think somebody ought to save their money. How so? See for yourself. Mind if I look around? Look all you want. She ain't been here. Mint's still on the pillow.
thought that you could pile it on with this pregnancy. How did you handle it? Well, I told her that I, I didn't believe the child was mine and that I'd be willing to take a blood test. And if it was, then I offered to have the pregnancy terminated. And other than that, I mean, it was over. No more, no more. How'd she take that? It was fairly unpleasant for a while. But uh, when she saw that I wasn't about to give in, she... She left after about an hour. Last I saw her, she was storming out there in the rain. Sorry, I ever got caught up in this whole thing. I, I really apologize for getting you involved. No, seriously, okay. no, 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 no. This is no excuse, no excuse. And, and also, I appreciate your discretion. And, uh, I'm indebted to you, Harry. It's okay. Seriously, no problem. All right. Uh, uh, I'm out of here. Okay. Um, so, are you gonna, gonna visit us in California? Yeah, right? absolutely. You sure. Absolutely. You bet. I'll do it. All right. Have a keep your nose clean. Take care. Okay. Have fun. Dee Dee'd never go anywhere without her makeup bag. Well, I understand from Agent Avery that she left in quite a mood. Well, she is in a pretty good mood when she left my house. Didn't you think so? You drove her over there. Well, what do you think upset her? Miss McNally, uh, I wasn't there, so I just don't know. You knew about Dee Dee and him. You knew she was pregnant. I'm sure Deanne's just gone off somewhere to clear her head. She swore to me she wouldn't go off without telling me. So I'm going to report her missing. Well, I uh, think that's a good idea. I'll be surprised if you don't hear from her shortly, though. She was always saying she was going to run off. Get out of this dump. Without saying goodbye to Shelly and Randy? Or you or me? I don't think so, Brett. Now, you think these people she told on, you think they might have done something to her? No. I told her she was getting in trouble messing with the law this way. I warned her. Look me in the eye, Brett. Look me in the eye and tell me you don't know where Dee Dee is or what might have happened to her. I don't. Hell, Dana, I don't know where she's at. Wait a minute, don't let the dogs out. I don't. I swear. I believe you. I mean, it's all screwed up between her and me, but she was the sweetest thing ever come her way. Seen to recall, Deanne was quite a mover not so long back. Captain, excuse me. Two minutes. Morning, Miss McNally. Hi. Have a seat. I just, I don't think she'd go off and not say anything to her kids. Or to Brett or to me? Well, I know it does seem mighty cruel and thoughtless, Dana. Did you know she was an FBI informant? Yes, I did. I also know she was paid for being one. It occurs to me she just might be off someplace spending that money. Did you know she was having an affair with Agent Avery? And that she was having his child? This will be what uh, Deanne told you? Well, she wasn't lying to me. I'd like you to find out what happened to her. She's been missing now almost three weeks. And... See what I can find out. I'll try to get some answers for you. Excuse me, Captain. Your apartment. I appreciate that. Really. Well, I'll just have somebody call Agent Avery and get what he knows on the record. Yes, thank you very much. I shouldn't have let her go. Maybe she's off with him wherever he's at. And why wouldn't he want her to call her kids? Hmm? I don't know. She would call me. What is it, Britt? We heard from Dee Dee. You know Dee Dee pretty well? Seen her most every day for three years. You ever talked to her on the phone before? On the phone? No, never had no call to do that. But still, you know it was her. 
Well, she said so and all. Asked about Shelley and Randy. Oh, it was her, all right. Knew about how he didn't have no phone, so she couldn't call to speak to him direct. She say where she was at? No, but it sounded like it was far. You know how you can tell just from it being long distance. Thank you, Mrs. Walton. Wasn't Deanna called that woman? The woman recognized her voice. Mrs. Walshen, it's Deanne again. Hi. Did you speak to Brett about the kids? Okay, thanks. She did? Y yeah, that sounds like my sister. She always was a suspicious one, Dana. Okay. Okay, I have to be going now, Miss Walshen. Uh-huh. Bye. So what does that prove? You sound like Dee Dee half the time anyways. If it wasn't Dee Dee that made that call, Earl, what do you think that means? We don't know it wasn't Dee Dee. I know it wasn't. What do you think that means? I'll tell you what it means. It means somebody wants us to think that Dee Dee is alive and well when she isn't. It means that that man murdered my sister. That's what it means. You gotta be crazy to think like that. If that's what it takes. sure she just run off and spend that money you fellas gave her for helping you out and when it's gone she'll be back but this sister of hers is running around making out like she's on some kind of investigation now, we already have our own statement from avery but i think it's set better if your boy gave it some attention it's not meaning to tell you your business you understand i want you to go to california to interview jeff you got some problem taking a trip to California? Oh, no, sir. I, I just thought you'd use somebody from another uh, station. Police have already done a QA and a on another take. He knows you, he'll talk to you. If anything happened, Harry, I want to know about it. Yes, sir. A mile out here is like 20 out on the highway. How long do you imagine we're gonna drop around out here? It's not like we're gonna find anything. I've been thinking through the whole thing. And I can see it. Just like it was a song on the radio. They had a fight. Okay, and he told her she was on her own. Oh, well, you, you... We don't know that! Well, he didn't say, Honey, that's wonderful news, and Dee Dee ran away because she was so happy, right? We don't know. That little... He probably said it wasn't his. What men usually say when they get caught. And she took after him, cursing and yelling the way she can. And once she got started, she wouldn't stop because... She'd be scared. Really scared. All those things she wanted. All those things he said he was going to get for her. It's just moon dust. And she was just some piece of small town white trash. And he was some big FBI guy. Folks have fights like that every Saturday night all over the county. Hell, all over the country. They don't end up killing them. And the reason we know that, Earl, is because they're there on Sunday with a hangover and a black-eyed bitching about it. And Dee Dee ain't. And you know why. Because she's laying out here someplace. My sister. Like garbage. 
I can't bear it. We don't know. We don't know that. I know it. I do know it. God help me. I know it. It's a war zone out here, Harry. And where you are, it's robberies and heists and killings, but here it's different, you know. It's, it's the front lines. You look like you're thriving on it. Didn't sign on for the peace. Hey, Jeff. How, How you doing? doing? Good, thank you. That's another thing. I really began to appreciate my religion. And I was, I am Catholic. Kind of let it slip. But uh, started going back. Helps. You religious? No, not much. Huh? I mean, evil, evil is is a strange thing. So I used to think that if someone were evil, that was it. You were evil. Period. You know. But now I think of it as it's more of a a sickness, a sickness that can come and lay you low, and then you can recover. And church is a place where you can recover. <laughs> it's kind of philosophical, huh? Yeah. Uh, I know. I know. Just don't tell anybody. I think I've gone soft. Okay. So this, this statement, what do they want me to say that I haven't told Stevenson already? I don't know. Conyers just wants it on the record. Well, just don't ask me anything that I can't be truthful about. Okay. Get some of your time here. These are extremely serious and malicious accusations, Mrs. McNally. What you suggest is just not believable. She's pregnant by Jeff Avery, and she told me she was having his baby. I don't think your sister's morals allow us to place any reliance on her assertion as to who the father of her child is, if indeed she's having a child. That is how you have behaved from the very start of this thing. As if she wasn't worth your time. You have no right to say such things. Any more than you have the right to say what you're saying about a fine young man who is putting his life at risk daily for the people of this country. I'm glad you like the taste of your words so much, Mr. Conyers. It'd be a big help when you come to eat them. Just put little pieces, one strand at a time. Well, you do the low part. Hey, how's it going? Well, we're running out of tinsel. Might be sewn in a box under the bed. Get it, will you? Honey, you do, do the back part of the tree. You scare me up there. Dana. I'm sorry to be in here. No, I mean it. I know I used to go on about her, and I'm real sorry. So am I. Dana? Oh, you need a bow. My mama ain't coming home for Christmas. Is she? No, I don't think so. I don't think she can. If she never came back no more, would that mean she's dead? Well, that'd be the only thing that could keep her away from you and Randy, darling. Maybe she'll come home for next Christmas. Now, without our having found her body or some very strong evidence of a crime having been committed, there's not a lot Captain Stevenson or the FBI can do about it. I'm afraid that's the nub of it. No, the nub of it, as you call it, is that Deanne is missing, and the last person we know saw her alive is Jeff Avery. No. And she was pregnant by him. We don't know that. Not for a fact. Nobody wants to believe this man Avery could have killed my sister because he's an FBI agent. Well, it's not a very probable thing, I have to tell you. Well, I believe it is. And I'm going to see if some of the newspapers believe me because I can't get anybody else to give me the time of day. Why don't you hold off on that just a tad? Let me make a few inquiries, would you? And what's your idea of just a tad? Mr. Estes, my idea is about a week. Thank you, Miss McNally. Thank you. I think the sooner we squash this irresponsible woman's allegations, the better for the Bureau and your career. Well, I'd be, I'd be happy to take a polygraph test, sir, if, if uh, that's what you think is best. Although, as I understand it, the state doesn't recognize their legality. But um, if, if, if that's what's called for, then, uh, then fine, sure. Thanks, Jeff.
first name Jeffrey? Yes. Do you live in California? Yes. Are you withholding any information from me about what happened to Deanne? No. Do you drive a car? Four H30. Yes. Did you ever hurt someone you did not have to? No. Did you graduate from the FBI Academy? Yes. Did you physically harm Deanne in any manner? No. Do you know for sure if Deanne is deceased? No. Do you know where Deanne is right now? No. Did you ever lie to a supervisor about any case that you'd handled? No. Okay, you can move and open your eyes. Very good. Thank you. Avery blew his polygraph. I mean, really blew it. Anything you want to tell me, Harry? No, sir. No, I mean, he told me what happened. I believed him. Nobody's going to fault you for that. You believed him too, didn't you, sir? I never questioned Avery directly on this. So they're going to hand it over to the state? The state doesn't recognize polygraphs. No, this is going to stay in-house for a bit. One thing's for sure. Avery's finished at the Bureau. Being finished in the Bureau isn't quite the point, is it, sir? There's a lot of points, Harry. But the biggest one is out of our hands. You can bet they're talking about this in the director's office, and they're not asking what Harry Hill and Dan Conyers think ought to be done. They've got an FBI agent who offed an informant staring them in the face. Without a body, there is no crime. There is a crime? Don't you dare tell me there is no crime. Deanne is dead. The baby that was in her is dead. Now her children have no mother. I have no sister. Don't you dare tell me there is no crime. Legally. Legally, there is no crime. Your sister's been missing almost a year. That means any evidence of a crime is long gone. You gotta find that body, sir. You have any idea how much country there is out there, Mr. McNally? Search it. Get the National Guard and the police and search it. Every scar showed he drove 97 miles. That's a 50-mile radius almost. That's into the next state. We can't search that amount of ground. So you just let it lie, huh? You just say, oh, sorry, too much work to catch a murderer. That's your law. We don't catch every murderer. We don't catch every seventh murder. I wish we well, did. Well, you're going to catch my sister's murder, or you're going to have to explain why not to a hell of a lot more people than me and Earl. He's going to get away with it. He's got to get away with it. You've got to stop this. I I'm serious. You've got to stop this. You were obsessed with this man, as Dee Dee was. I got over my Jeff Avery's long before I ever met you, Earl. Well, that's none of my business. But what is my business is you busting up this place and you are crazy! Crazy? I'm going crazy, Earl. I went crazy, okay? I'm crazy. Earl. I'm going crazy. Love, you remember last night? You remember what she said to me? She said I was jealous. She said I was jealous of her. And I was. 
I envied her, running out in the rain like a cat. I mean, not who she's gone to, nothing like that. Just that she still had it in her. <laughs> to believe all the lies. The ones he was telling her and the ones she was telling herself. I wanted her to be wrong. She was wrong. Yeah, but I wanted her to be wrong. She was going out there with her poor little heart all full of love. Oh, I just, I wanted Jeff Avery to prove to her big sister was right. You didn't mean her no harm. You don't think wanting her worst fears to come true was wishing her harm? here unofficially there's something you ought to know I know my sister's dead she didn't come back and you know that too now don't you Mr. Jeff Avery. I'm Dana McNally. I'm Diane's sister. I know just about everything that happened between you and Dee Dee. I know she's lying out there somewhere. What's left of her. And that nothing's going to bring her back to me. Or her children. She isn't dead to me. Not so as I can get it behind me. It's like she's still dying. And I think it must be like that for you. I know about the lie detector test. And I know it's eating you up inside like it's eating me up inside. No, 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 no. I don't I can't live my life with my sister dying every day. I'm going to find her and lay her to rest. I know you know where she is, and I want you to tell me. If you ever care for her, even a little, help me help yourself and tell me where she is. She deserves that, and so do you. Yes, you can.
I remember what you once said about this view, Dee Dee. I'm going to come up here a lot before I come up here for good. And every time I do, I'll see you. Sister Mine. 